Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa salam ma ba'd Ahlu sunnati wal jama'a love the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because the, the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een were the people who helped to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use them to preserve the Qur'an the kitabillah and to carry and bring the precious sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to us these were the Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and Allah subhanahu wa taala praised them throughout the Quran, and throughout the Sunnah, the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they were praised and beloved to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who said, "La tusubu ashabi." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Do not curse my companions." Radiyallahu taala anhum ajma'in. And in a story that was. Uh, a narration on the Salaf that uh, Abdullah ibn Mus'ab ibn Thabit he was addressing the Khalifa Khalifa Harun Rashid when Abdullah ibn Mus'ab ibn Thabit called Qala li Amir al-Mu'mineen Harun al-Rashid so Amir al-Mu'mineen Harun al-Rashid was addressing Abdullah ibn Mus'ab ibn Thabit فقال ما تقول في الذين يشتمون أصحاب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم what do you say about the, the Amir, Amir al-Mu'mineen was saying to uh, Abdullah ibn Thabit or ibn Mus'ab ibn Thabit what do you say about those people who curse the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Then I said, "Fakultu zanadaka ya Amir al-Mu'minin." He said, "They are heretics, O uh, leader of the believers." Qal, he said. ما علمت ما علمت أحد قال هذا غيرك. I don't know of anyone who says this other than you. فكيف ذلك? How is that? فقلت uh, this is uh, Abdullah ibn Mus'ab ibn Thabit. He said إنما هم قوم أراد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. Verily, they are people that want the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم. فَلَمْ يَجِدُوا أَحَدٍ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأُمَّةِ يَتَّبِعُهُمْ عَلَى ذَلِكَ فِيهِ And they didn't find anyone in this nation that followed them in that. فَشَتَّمُوا أَصْحَابَهُ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَلَىٰ عَنْهُمْ So then they cursed the companions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with them. يَا أَمِرُ مُؤْمِنِينَ مَا أَقْبَى بِرَجْلٍ and yashaba sahabata asu fa ka'annahum qalu rasulullah sahaba sahabata asu so then he said o amiru mu'minin there is nothing uglier or worse than a man that associates with the companions evil it is if he they are saying the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam associated with evil companions wa ayadun billah min hadha qawl this is the how the salaf used to view the rafida those people those shia that re, that reject the companionship of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam meaning reject the companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam by accusing them of her, heresy and by accusing them of adultery like Umana Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha and other evil statements and saying that the Quran has uh, contradictions wa'iyadhin billah min dhalika and the many other contradictions in their creed which more than calls into question their Islam. These people cannot be associated as Muslims wa'iyadhin billah 
and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to either guide them or humiliate them. For as, as we speak, they are planning and they are attacking Ahlul Sunnah all over the world. As we see our brothers and sisters who suffer in Iraq, and we see our brothers and sisters who suffer in Iran, and we see our brothers and sisters who suffer in Damaj in Yemen, currently as we speak, as of today we have news that several of our brothers from America, from Russia, and from other places were killed. Killed by these people. When, in fact, they w were doing nothing but studying. These people are studying in a murkis a da'wah, a murkis a sunnah, a place where you learn the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But yet, then they are attacked. And, and uh, their women and children are threatened, and their honor is threatened, and their wealth and property is threatened. These people have declared war upon Ahl Sunnah, which is what they have done all throughout history. As Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, أَكْفَرْ مِنْ يَهُودُ وَنَصَارَ That they have more disbelief than Jews and Christians. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ This is the state of these people, even though they say لا إله إلا الله. They don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's book, and they don't believe in the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, nor his companions, anhu, they don't love the companions. As the Prophet has let us know in authentic narrations that the person who hates them, that they, that they are uh, hypocrites. This is the state of the Rafidah. This is the state of many of those sects that uh, hate the companions of the Prophet Muhammad anhu majma'in. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by every name that he subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is pleased with to humiliate those people who hate Islam and humiliate those people who attack Islam and humiliate those people who cause harm to the Muslims. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.